Can human be born with a tail subscribe? Universal tutor. Yes, humans can be born with a condition known as human tail or a vestigial tail. However, it's important to clarify that these tails are not functional like those of certain animals and are not a sign of evolution reversing itself. Instead, they are considered congenital anomalies. T is extremely rare for a human to be born with a tail. While it is not impossible, the development of a tail in humans is considered a genetic mutation, and it is estimated to occur in less than one in a million births. A human tail is typically a small, flesh-covered protrusion at the base of the spine, resembling a tail. It may range in size from a few centimeters to several inches. These vestigial tails can vary in appearance and may contain some rudimentary muscle or fatty tissue. The presence of a human tail is rare and occurs during fetal development due to incomplete regression of the embryonic tail, which is a normal structure present in early human development. This embryonic tail, known as the tail bud, is a remnant of our evolutionary ancestors and usually regresses during gestation. However, in some cases, it doesn't fully disappear, resulting in the congenital anomaly known as a human tail. It's essential to understand that a human tail is not functional, does not contain spinal cord or nerve tissue, and is not associated with any special abilities. In most cases, it is a benign condition, and surgical removal may be considered for cosmetic or medical reasons, particularly if the tail is causing discomfort or other health issues. There have been a few documented cases of humans being born with tails. One well-known case is that of a boy named Chang Su Ping, who was born in Yunnan Province, China, in 1900. Chong had a 6-inch long tail that was covered in hair and had a cartilaginous structure similar to that of a monkey's tail. Another famous case is that of a girl named Nagi, who was born in India in 1928. Nagi had a 10-inch long tail that was functional and allowed her to balance herself while walking. Her tail was also said to have had sensory capabilities, allowing her to feel touch and pain. It's important to note that these cases are extreme rarities, and the vast majority of people are not born with tails. Additionally, having a tail does not necessarily mean that a person will have any special abilities or advantages. It is simply a unique physical characteristic. While tails are not common in humans, they are relatively common in some animal species, such as primates, kangaroos, and some species of reptiles and amphibians. In these animals, tails serve a variety of functions, including balance, communication, and even defense. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.